I'm getting ready. You guys already know this is part of like my daily work routine is picking out my perfume for the day. I don't know which one I'm gonna go with today. This is Dossier, if you haven't heard me talk about them before. This is my go-to perfume company. They make luxury inspired scents um, and sell them at an extremely affordable price. And they have so many options on their website and they keep coming up with more. And so the one I'm putting on today is called Fruity Honey and it is inspired by Joe Malone's, um, I think it's like Nectarine, and nectarine honey or something like that i have a discount code i'll put it on the screen and then i'll put it in the description um i think it's it's for 10 percent off and it can be combined with their um intro 20 percent off deal so you can be getting 30 percent off on some new perfumes if you wanted so i'm gonna go with this one today and seriously these are my favorite perfumes in the world my roommates like come in and put them on and I suggest them to everyone. Like all my family members have been calling me and asking me and they're like, do you like, are, is that perfume company really good? Like, do you like it? I'm like, yes, literally you can get all the perfumes that we like for like $50 or less. Um, but yeah, their prices start at $29 and they go up to $49 depending on the scent and I just can't recommend them enough you guys they're made with clean ingredients and they're just super high quality and I recommend and you have a risk-free order because they send you a box and they send you a little tester size so if you open the tester size and you don't open like the big regular size you can send it back so highly recommend seriously okay I'll stop talking about perfume and get the day started oh wait we have a visitor Hi. So we got another cat, and this is him. Um, right now, right now, him and Cheddar are not on great terms. So right now, he's just chilling in my room, in my bed, until we can like introduce him and Cheddar once he's like not so scared. We don't even have a name for him yet, but he's really cute, and he's just living under my bed right now, dude. It's like I feel like he wants me to pick him up, but I'm kind of scared. So I'm not going to film that in case he scratches my eyes out. Okay, let me show you the fit, actually. I didn't show you. Uh, I'm just wearing some jeans. They're really big on me. And I need to get them taken in. So I'm doing the little, like, button trick. I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but you literally loop the your button into your first belt hole. And then you button it, and it, like, makes the jeans a lot tighter. It... You kind of have to get situated and fold it correctly. And then I'm just wearing this brown top from Brandy Melville. And um, yeah, that's the fit. Once it hits like 7 a.m., my emails are insane. Okay, come on. Like seriously. I was like to start my day by cleaning up like the apartment. I already cleaned up my room with my candles. But I like have to I have to have a clean, clean, clean environment for my day. Just gonna put all these dishes away and then reward myself with my coffee. Okay, sounds good. Thanks for calling. Okay, bye. Best frothed oat milk is this Chobani oat. There's nothing like it. Just put a little bit in there. And I sweeten it with some unhealthy creamer. And then pop it in the microwave. like in my past day in my life so you can see me like reading before work or like working out and right now that's just like so not possible for me I mean it is but I just can't get out of bed in the morning because I stay up pretty late working most days um and I'm like ready to talk about more of like 
my other side of what I do for work. And so since about January, I've been freelancing for some clients. And so I work my nine to five job at my marketing agency. And then I also have two clients of my own that I offer freelance marketing services for. And I'm really excited about it. It's like going really well. I've had one since January and then I just recently got another one over the past, I'd say month, month and a half or so. And it's a lot of work. And so I do like my normal day job and then after my day job, I have to work on my freelance client stuff. And so my work days are like sometimes 10 to 12 hours long. And I like try and take a break and like have time for myself in the middle of the day. And so I sleep literally until like 7, 7.15 in the morning. So that's what's going on. And so I'm gonna show you a little about that today. And so it's just about eight o'clock and so I need to get to work. <laughs> Grab questions on Instagram on like what my setup is here. And so pretty much it's just my work computer, which is a MacBook Pro. And then I have um, this monitor that I literally bought at a thrift store for $30. It's really nice. It's like the buttons are like touchscreen. And it's a Samsung computer and I want to say it's probably like, it's probably like 23 inches. And then I have an HDMI cord that connects them and then in um, your settings of your computer you can go to like the screen arrangement settings and you can just broadcast like two of your screens on a monitor in here and I can just like drag things in between them. And so yeah, I literally just use an HDMI cord and then I use, um, I have a little Bluetooth plug-in in my laptop and I connect this keyboard and this mouse and it's on my list to make this set nicer. I'm actually in the process of possibly getting a new desk, like a stand-up fancy desk. I will definitely talk to you guys about all of that because I am in need of something new. This desk is so cute. It's a little Ikea desk, but it's just not big enough for like how much I have to work in the day and all the things that are going on. So that'll be cool. And then maybe I'll get like a matching keyboard and monitor set or something eventually. But yeah, something's gotta change. But my iPad is currently dead and I left my all my chargers and stuff at my boyfriend's house. So I'm like charging everything off of one charger. So I'm just going to write in a notebook. So. Um, so yeah, I recommend if you don't have an iPad to literally just start your work days or your school days like with a notebook and paper. That's what I have been doing this week while I've been struggling with like my charger situation. And I just make a list and I work off of it all week and just cross out as I go. And so it's time for a new page, but I am going to get together everything I need to do in my brain and then I will come back and let you guys know what my day is gonna look like. I had to edit a um, reel that I'm starting to make reels for like our work account. We're doing these like little um, short reels where we're like asking the team what certain like, uh, what certain Gen Z phrases mean. And so for this week's we did. Um, love that for you Very encouraging. and like, that's me I'm so, so I was just editing that and it's it's really fun um, okay so that was like that took up a little bit of time because editing reels takes so long I'm gonna run through my list for today <laughs> first thing I need to do is I need to make some ad edits to a new client that we have and then I need to scan all of my ad accounts right now I have I think I have 11 ad accounts that I manage at work and so I just kind of need to pop into all of those accounts and make sure everything's going smoothly in there. I need to research how a tool works that one of our clients is using. This like sounds really fancy, but I just need to Google search something pretty much. I need to boost some posts. So I need to like make ads for some posts that went out that a client sent out on their Instagram and Facebook. I need to finish a grid for one of our clients. We did a big photo shoot yesterday for that client when I went into work. And so now I have content for April and May. And so I need to finish April's content, write captions for it, put the pictures all together for April's all of April's Instagram posts. And then I'm also gonna get started on May's, like next week, I think. Also need to finish writing captions for another client that I have. Yeah, so it's just mostly a lot of ad stuff today. Yeah, things are going well. Um, okay, 
I need water and a snack. <laughs> I'm taking a little break because our meeting got pushed back and I'm having some breakfast. This looks really gross, but it's just a <laughs> leftover um, soy riso burrito. Mm. I think to change platforms, we needed more things than we need now. Yeah. Like when we were testing it out, mostly. Hi guys, so I finished working a little bit ago. It's currently 4.45. Um, I was playing with the cat for a little bit because he came out from under my bed. Um, and then I just changed into some workout clothes because I'm gonna go downstairs and do a little Pilates. I'll probably, um, that'll probably be around the same time my boyfriend is gonna come over. He's coming over and bringing me dinner and um, yeah, he's just really sweet. I've had cramps this week, so he's bringing me dinner because he feels bad. So that's really cute. And yeah, so I'm gonna get this workout done. I'm just doing a light workout because like I said, I've had pretty bad cramps this week. And so I'm just gonna try and do something that's like not too hard on my body. Okay, this is my little Pilates setup. I don't think you can even see the TV, but I've been doing the move with Nicole Pilates videos and I'm just doing a 25 minute full body workout and yeah that's just what I'm gonna do today really quick I just got back from my walk like literally just walked in and so did this guy with our dinner he got us, hey y'all, hey he got us flame broiler and it's just like a little teriyaki bowl place. Mm -hmm. It's very good. And I am like gassed from that walk. I went around the block and I'm very tired. So I'm just gonna eat this. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm starting my second shift here. And now I'm working on some of my personal stuff. And so right now I am just fixing an email that I made. And then I have to edit some ads that I have running for a different client. So I'm working on two client things right now. And yeah, so I'm probably gonna work for a couple hours here and knock this stuff out so that I don't really have to work on it for the rest of the week until maybe Sunday. And yeah, so this is what a lot of my days consist of. It's like a lot of working right now. <laughs> I took a break from like 4.30 to, I'd say like right, I started at seven. Um, so I took a good little break to have dinner, exercise, and um, I showered. And yeah, so now just more work. <laughs> I feel like my day seems so jumbled from this vlog. I mean, it kind of is, I can't lie. It's 9.30 right now. I think I'm actually going to stop working because I've been working for like two and a half hours and I got everything that I needed to do done, which is good. Um, I am just now taking a quick little, like or I'm watching a video and like taking notes on, um, like a quick Google Ads course. I'm gonna close my computer so I'm actually done. <laughs> I'm grabbing the book that I'm currently reading and this one is called Then She Was Gone and it's like um, it's like a thriller mystery book. Um, it's really good so far. I'm like very early into it but it's really good and I like it. That's pretty much a really busy work day for me as a social media manager. This is like, I wouldn't say it's every day of the week, but it's a couple days a week that some days are just super busy for me because I do my nine to five job and then I have a bunch to do for my freelance clients. I'm really enjoying what I'm doing right now. So I wouldn't be doing it if I wasn't. Let me know if you guys have any questions on like what I do for work or anything else about like social media management or just anything in general. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you later. Bye.